Hey everyone, just wanted to share kind of a short video about how to make your chord progression sound a little more modern. This came from an actual real situation that I was in recently. Some friends were working on a song in, uh, with the producer. They had this kind of chord progression going on. So we've all heard something like that before. Um, but the producer thought it sounded a little too bright and maybe campy for that song. So he asked if I could lay something down that sounded a little more modern and less overtly happy. The way I did this is with two kind of interrelated ideas and it's added tone chords, like an add two or an add four, add nine, and suspended chords. So check this out. Compare this to what we started off with. Hopefully you can hear the difference. Um, so let's, let's zoom in on what I'm doing a little bit more. Okay, so first off, I'm just gonna talk about what I'm doing in the left hand. It's really simple. We have a G, C, E minor, D chord progression. So I'm just playing the root note um, in the left hand, one note at a time. So even on our basic progression, you can notice what my left hand's doing. All right, so I'm gonna continue that pattern in my left hand. Like I said, we're gonna be doing some sus chords um, and some added tone chords. So the first chord is going to be a G add two. So the two of a G chord is A, and I'm adding that to the chord. All right, the next chord we're working with is a C sus two. So a sus means we're replacing the third. So the third of a C chord is E, and we're replacing it with the two of that chord, which is D. So we're getting a sus two. So to start off, we have This next chord is the most complicated of them. We have this chord normally, but we're actually going to do it as an add four. I'm actually going to leave out the B, which is the five of the chord, and just take my word for it, that's the easiest chord tone to leave out of a chord. We're also going to replace this octave for the minor seventh of the chord, which is this D note. And we're going to keep this high G up here. So we're going to get this really cool kind of sound with this. E, A, D, G. Our last chord is our five chord, which is normally this. But we're going to play it like this, which is a D sus. So sus is sus four. We're replacing the third of the chord with the four of the chord, which is G. So the four of D is G. So we're replacing this note for this note. So all together, if I play it slowly, it sounds like this. Hopefully that was helpful. Those kind of ideas, um, added tones and using suspensions will actually take your sound to be a little less straightforward and a little more um, modern sounding, if that's the, the sound you're going for. All right, cool. Thanks.